I drop to my ankles my pants and I'm bent over and I'm just like, yeah. no man, it feels like there's a finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, how's it going? How's life been? Now that I'm back on Mario's Uncensored, it's better. What did you do amazing. without me while I was gone? Like, what was life like? Masturbate a lot. Masturbate a lot. Uh, I feel that. Today we have a special episode because today it's not just Jeff and myself and the Mario that's censoring my unexisting pants right now. It's also yeah. a guest we have on Uncensored. Somebody I've been wanting to introduce to you for a very long time. He is known for huge hits like Bro Job with Mario Adrian. Yeah. He has worked as a porn director in Los Angeles. And most importantly, He's got a huge heart and even bigger penis. It's Josh fucking Randall, everybody. Hey! Thank it's you, thank Josh. you. So great to be here. Thank you for thank that you. intro, Mario. Thank you. Yeah. You've been hiding me like your side chick for you for, for a couple I've months been, now. You've been it's in okay. so many projects. I know. <coughs> we, did, like, we did bro job together. Yes. They were all wondering, hey, who's that like twinky, cute, like ripped guy? Twinky. You know? Thanks. <laughs> it's funny how we met. We met outside of a comedy club after both bombing. Yeah. And then you came to my house and, you, and we wrote bro jobs together. Literally in one sitting. Yeah. And then a beautiful friendship was born. Yeah. Speaking of prostate exams, have yeah. you had them before? <laughs> I've never known. <laughs> <laughs> None of you guys have had a prostate exam? No, I've always Whoa. wanted to, but it never okay, came up. It's kind of awkward. Like, so, so I went to the doctor once and I thought I thought I had an STD. It was burning to pee. Yeah. And I was giving my symptoms. I keep testing negative. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm like, something's going on. I have an STD. They're like, no, let me... Can you bend over? I think we need to do a little prostate exam. I'm like, ah, oh, what's that? And there's like a hot nurse in there. Oh, wow. And I bend over and he goes in and he's like, is this the sensation you feel when you pee? And I go, no, man, it feels like there's a finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was my prostate exam. <laughs> it, was, it was gnarly. It was gnarly. <laughs> wow. Did he hit the prostate? Yeah, yeah. So when you said there was a hot nurse, like there's a hot nurse and like I drop to my ankles, my pants and I'm bent over and I'm just like, yeah. this is, it's like 9am. I was in Florida and, uh, Florida, of that course. changes well, everything. Too, it changes everything. Know? Wow. I don't know why that was like the, the thing to start off with with me, but I thought <laughs> no, I'd get like it with it. The, like it. It's uncensored, like, right? You it's, know? <laughs> that's the whole thing here. Guys, guys, also if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel Uncensored is where we share the truth from the balls. New episodes every single week, almost. So make sure to subscribe so uh, you don't miss out on all the prostate exam content. There's all ball hair on my mic, dude. <laughs> you know, I prepped it for just how you like it, you know what I mean? I was like, Josh is coming in. Special Let's guest. Let's get the mic prop with some ball hairs and stuff, yeah. Yeah, how's life go? So you're a singer, right? I mean, former singer. I used to be in Interscope Records, and I was in a boy band, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> a singer. <sitter. laughs> Interscope Records. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that was the first year. I, I like to think of myself as like a failed pop star. You okay, know? okay. Yeah. Fuck, it's great. Yeah, it's he's, a, it he's a failed yeah. model. You yeah. know hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm just successful with everything I touch. <laughs> I'm like the rock, you know what I mean? I can't I'm lose. I'm like, I cannot lose. I Are you a bigger lose. singer than I was? I, I mean, I, I was an American Idol once. He founded you. Yes, he founded you. I found yes, you. yes. Um, if anybody ever wondered how I ended up being on, on American Idol with yeah. Katy Perry, that's the reason. I'm a casting producer for American Idol, and I, and I once I do more, I'm like, hey, man, yeah. you want to go and sing in your Speedo? And he's like, of course. <laughs> that's literally so on brand. It was like, you, you saw me, and you see, like, the, the sorting hat in Harry Potter, you just recognized my soul. You were like, I know. Slytherin, that yeah. guy, Speedo, American Idol, I see it. <laughs> And that was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And we also did a video um, on <laughs> Venice where we tested what's more powerful. You oh, know? yeah. Singer versus a Singer model. versus model. You as a singer, do you think being able to sing, can you sing for us? Sing, sing so people believe you. Um, like, uh, you should take my hand Come give me a bro job Cause you're my best friend And that's what friends are for They might think that we're gay Well maybe just a little You and me till the end I love you bro I love you bro Love that, I love that That's wow. the one he always goes for it's it's nice, no, bro. You know how to sing Do you, Have Shit. you in your life and career Have you felt like singing was sort of like Like a pussy magnet has it been very, you know, just like made you? Did you have groupies as a boy band member? Was it like Justin Timberlake or? Yeah, I mean, I said I was a failed pop star. A fa so <laughs> like the scale of like, <laughs> no. like, like, like was no, but yeah, obviously, like I think singers yeah, you always fuck do. A lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, not anymore. I'm engaged. Yeah. Mario, I'm engaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. I remember and Mario yeah. helped me with my proposal. Guys, I want to, if I can, wow. can I, can I show the course. clip? Yeah. Yes. So Josh hit me up the other day and I was so honored. I will, let me say this before you say this. All right. Only Mario, first of all, he filmed the proposal, but only Mario can film a proposal that isn't meant for social media and it goes viral. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How much? Yeah, your clip has like on 30 million views on 30 TikTok. 30 million views on TikTok. What? I yeah, that. I proposed yeah, yeah. a video. Holy yeah, shit. We're gonna, we're gonna play it here. Yeah. We're gonna play it here. You know what I realized for me that was so cool to do that? Because I, all the content I do, is, is including this sitting here, you know, half naked with two guys in my living room. Most content I do is for social media, yeah. <laughs> you know, for something. So it was really cool going to, you know, my friend's yeah. proposal where you proposed. Yeah. To Rachel, yeah. dressed as Hulk Hogan. You know about this? The, no, it was a Halloween I want to see this, by the way. It was a Halloween party. And, um, you, and you're not going to see it, Jeff, but the people here are going to see it, you know? Okay. I'm not going to show you ever. Never. Never. <laughs> Never. Wow. You're just going to always live with the memory of like, knowing that, you know, you haven't yeah. seen it, but everybody else has. I can let the imagination <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, it was a Halloween party. And yeah. you did the best proposal. Like, you came in. And it was like the office theme proposal. And Rachel didn't know it was going to be the proposal. She was but, dressed as Hulk Hogan. But when she Hogan. saw you, she knew. And then yeah. the moment where it goes viral is she walks in with a mustache as Hulk Hogan, like you guys are going to see. And she's like, oh, no. Hey, Mario. And she yeah, knew. Yeah, yeah, She yeah, knew, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think they're coming you. Oh, my God. He looks so funny. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Are you serious right now? <laughs> This is, oh. where, this is where I love. I can't, I can't even smile with this <laughs> uh, That was so funny. And I love what I said to you before. I was like, hey, Josh, <clears throat> right before the proposal, I was like, man, if anything goes wrong, if she says no, <laughs> you got a backup plan right here. Yo, that was the pivotal moment of your life. It could have gone like, you know, like Dr. Strange, like two different timelines, you know? Yeah. You could have gone like full gay or just like happily engaged with Rachel. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Do you ever get being a pop star, being a boy band member, do a lot of people think that you, you're gay? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, my mother even as a kid <laughs> questioned me being gay. She would always say to me like, it's okay, I'll always love you. And I'm like, Mom, what? <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> oh, it's 12. Yeah. That's, that's so yeah. progressive, though. Yeah. And you grew up in Florida? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, she was always supportive of my non, I mean, non-homosexuality. But she, <laughs> she wanted, she was kind of disappointed. She was like, oh, yeah, damn she, it. It's okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like, you know, I guess prettier at, than most at 12. And I was... Yeah, you know, I can she, see that. You know, and I tried to look pretty for you're the girls. But pretty. she thought I was looking pretty for the boys. And it was always confusing mm, to her. I see yeah, that. But she always supported me on my journey. Yeah. Is like the boy band scene, is it like, do you think there's a lot of gay shit going on? <laughs> <laughs> Such a loaded question. Like, <laughs> like literally or like metaphorically? This will not like, be edited. <laughs> nope. I, mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, the stereotypes, right? I mean, notoriously, like, like in all the biggest boy groups, there's there's, there's, there's a gay member like in uh, in Sync, Lance Bass, and New yeah. Kids on the Block, John Knight. We, we met Knight, Lance so. Bass. We went to events. Oh, sure. Him, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's inevitable. Like, you know, singing and dancing is... The singing. gayest thing it's, you can possibly yeah, how do. How much gayer can you and get, dude? <laughs> I was loving it. Now it makes sense. My mom was like, yeah. Because I was singing and dancing as a yeah. teenager. Yeah. Well, the one reason why I connected with you was also, I mean, besides from you being yeah. so pretty and good looking and stuff, I was like, I saw you on stage and you were singing this song about like one dick and you're gay. Yeah, yeah. And you sang about being a boy band member. And I was like, I love that sometimes how like, you know, I went to this weird mic and then everything happened because of that, because I had the balls to talk to you. Because I thought you were gay. I swear to God. Really? When I first... Well, I swear to God. Oh, okay. when I, when I, I think I never told you this. Oh, when wow. I first saw you, I thought like, oh yeah, he might be a subscriber. You know? Like, I was like... <laughs> I was like... You know? Because you gave me that vibe. And I I, honestly, like, I mean, I, I, I had no idea who you were. I mean, obviously, I Googled you and I, I told Rachel I was with Rachel for in our relationship and I was like, this guy's massive. I just met my guy. He's got like 500,000 subscribers. But yeah, we met at the open mic. It was like six people watching us. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It was rough. It was, it was and, and I had yeah. my keyboard and I walked outside and you were just like, hey, it's okay, man. Hey, what's going on? What's your name? And we linked up. And, <laughs> and then we fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, guys. That's how the LA comedy scene works. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. You also thought I was gay when you first met me, right? I still do. It's <laughs> and I think Josh, like, it's, he seems, he might have a few secrets up his sleeve, you know? Lots of secrets. Like, where has he been before? I've What's been he Dark done? places. <laughs> dark places. I lived in Germany, man. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I was in uh, this, this show slash group called Boy Bands Forever. 
Um, because in the mic, I, I mentioned like I've been to Germany yeah, and I was yeah, in a boy yeah. group that was in Germany. I was there for two years, so maybe that's how we connected too. Because I have, I have so much, I have so much love for Germany. Yeah, I love Berlin, Munich, like all the different. It's just amazing. It's so efficient. It's so it's efficient. on time. It is so efficient, which I love. I I hate the one thing, and that goes to all of you also. Like the unpunctuality. Is that a word? Is that a yeah. word? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. The unpunctualness. Yeah. Yeah. The unpunctualism in America <laughs> is like really getting out of hand. My like guys, we, we did this uh, fourth, of, no, it's not fourth of July, it was the barbecue I hosted. My first ever barbecue in the United States. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm hosting this barbecue now. It's amazing. I, I wrote like 6 p.m. Let's all be here at 6, right? Mm. I, as a German, 5.30 had everything ready, you know? <laughs> like the Nürnberger Rostbratwürstchen, you know, yeah. all the German shit. I had it all ready and like was so excited. Oh, my first barbecue. <clears throat> 7.30, my friend Ian shows up, you know, like an hour and a half later. I'm like, yo, this is not very German. No. It's not. And these guys show up just like super casual about this. He, Riley goes like, oh, yeah. yeah, we're America. You know, I was like, fuck, this is not acceptable. <laughs> you know, yeah, I love Germany. Josh, do you have any in your boy band days? Mm -hmm. You were in Germany most of the time, you were saying? So I was in like <laughs> multiple boy bands. Like I've had multiple. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent for a group called Five Alive. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, in Germany, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, did you ever have anything like creepy happen to you? Would, were you part of the industry where, you know, you had to deal with some Harvey Weinstein type shit? I mean, when I first started, okay, I mean, I won't, I was I almost made a big TV show when I was 19, and I came, I flown to LA, and it had to do with like a boy group, this TV show, and I was asked to sit on someone's lap, and I said, I was like, I was very floored. I didn't know anything about making it in TV, and I was yeah. like, "Fuck out of here, dude! What the fuck's wrong with you?" And then I didn't make, I didn't make the show. Yeah, you never made. I was one of, the, I was one of the favorites to make the show, and I, I was like, "How oh, come I didn't make the show?" And I'm like, "Well, I didn't sit when on you me. say sit on somebody's lab, what does that mean?" Lap, <laughs> lap, <laughs> yeah. lap. What is that? I'm sorry, I'm too, I'm too German. Lap, like, like sit there, like, hey. like what, like with your, like somebody who's naked, like no. But it Without was a, pants? It was inappropriate. It was inappropriate. Okay. It was inappropriate. Okay. Inappropriate. Was it a guy? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. usually how it is. Yeah. Good girl, he would have done it, probably. Isn't that like a double standard, though, too? Yeah. It's strange, yeah. It's <coughs> actually, and this is interesting, yeah. I mean, if you were a model, mm -hmm. you would have had, I mean, it's, it's just a thing, man. Yeah. You just have to, I think it's, it sucks, but I think to a certain degree, you just have to be cool with some inappropriate shit. If you're too sensitive, I think it can really hurt you. And I've seen guys, those, this Canadian guy, you know, it's like, um, he was, I mean, you know, shit people have asked me, it's kind of crazy. But then there's this Canadian guy, he was super bro from Toronto, you know, super young kid. And he was like, the same photographer I shot with, when he asked him to like, you know, if you can shoot nude, he just said like, you know, go fuck yourself and just walked out, you know. Uh, it's like, he's, but he's, he's homophobic a little bit to a level where like, he's so afraid of anything that might make him, make him look gay. And uh, yeah. Jeff's good at that. <coughs> Jeff's like, very not afraid of looking gay and also he's like yeah so he's in Molly well you know when i first yeah. met you, you on bro jobs you were kind of easing into the all of the, the right. experiments and now you're like full on yeah you're yeah. crushing it though sensei sensei, sensei talk. <laughs> teach me your ways <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're next <laughs> let's get political here i talk about this in stand-up too okay if it fucks in america is like this label thing you know it's all black or white it's either like you're gay or you're straight like Republican or conservative. Like yeah. these labels don't exist in Germany, you know? Like in Europe, it's much more like, okay, I can like, I don't know, like, you know, go out on the street, teabag strangers, you know, be in my Speedo. It's but do all you good. really think that now? I feel like the lines are gray now. I, I think even America, it's becoming, oh, well, not in certain parts of America, but like out here in the West I Coast and it's, it feels <laughs> super here normal. In the West Coast. Yeah. You're right, in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. However, I still think we live in a bubble. Yeah. Like, what, how about Florida now? I think it's different. Diff different parts, because Florida's like two different, you know, northern Florida's like super southern <clears throat> conservative, and then you go to south Florida, it's like a melting pot of culture where you're going to have like mm. every ethnicity, every sexuality, and it's all accepted down in south Florida, Miami. Interesting. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm going to Miami in a couple of days. Um, by the fine. way, guys, if you want to watch me see stand-up, I have a website now. Righty built it, hopefully, but all until right. then. <laughs> so I'm doing shows in <laughs> Naples and in Miami. You're going to crush in Miami. Job, bro. And I'm going to fucking blow in Naples. It, Naples it, well, no, it's a risk. You might crush in Naples. It's like two different worlds there, you know? So Naples, you would say, is more conservative? More conservative, a little bit more, you know, middle of nowhere, like middle America. It's weird, Naples. But then Miami's, you're going to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Crush. You don't think kill. he's going to kill in the conservative area? 
What What do you mean? Are you looking at him and generalizing here? Look at him. Well, I know. Look I've at seen, him. I've seen his stand up. You know. It's, Look uh, at me. <laughs> love to be in that crowd. No, 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 I adjust the jokes. I'll like tone down on the yeah. gay jokes. You know. I like just yeah. do more yeah. of the German stuff. You know. It's gonna. Yeah. It's gonna all work out. It's gonna all work out. All right, Josh Randall. Yes. Now the question is, okay. what's your life trajectory right now, right? Okay. So you were a boy band member, you failed sure, sure. miserably, right? Yeah. Now you do stand up, you bombed at an open mic. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Well, what's next? Where's it going? So I've always like had like uh, goals and I try to get there in like non-traditional ways. Like even the even music, I was like working behind the scenes and then someone saw me and it was weird how I kind of got in there. Um, so my my when I came to LA during the pandemic, I was like, I don't know. I thought I was going to be an actor like everybody here or like uh, um, stand up. Then the pandemic hit, but I got into this niche casting television and yeah. singing shows, which I thought was going to be like a short run. And it's turned into like casting multiple shows. Yeah. But through that, I meet a lot of like TV producers. So like my goal is to kind of get back in front of the scenes and become like the next Ryan Seacrest, the which is sort of, I'm sort of manifesting it. You no, know, you're like, putting it out. Yeah. I think it's important when you have a goal like that, yeah. you, you, fuck it, you put that shit out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so powerful to be like, yo, I'm going to be the next Ryan Seacrest yeah. and kind of like say that. And I think yeah. that there's so much power to that. I don't, I don't believe, I'm not a huge like manifestation guy. I'm not like, you know, going to put like on my mirror or something, <clears throat> you know, that like, I'm going to be the next David Hasselhoff. It's not going to be that way, you know, but like, <laughs> But I think you can like never be enough. <laughs> the last person that told me I manifested something was Ron Reagan, and he said I manifested you because he showed me you. He was he was he was the first person to show me you. Yeah. And the next thing you know, you and I. So Ron Reagan's a photographer. For those of you who don't know, yeah. Um, and what he manifested me. He said I manifested. You us. manifested us. Yes. Because he showed me who you were. He goes, yeah. you need to meet this guy. And then look at us. See the power of manifestation. Yeah. So if he can That's manifest right. Mario Adrian, you can manifest Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, I mean I I mean I became the warm up host for the shows, which I, I stand next to him during the yeah. shows now. So like obviously it's not on air, but like I'm in between commercial breaks, I address the crowd, I introduce him. That's amazing. He yeah. talks to me every now and then, so I'm yeah, like yeah. I'm so close now. He's so close. So now. close. You're like one hand job away from one a hosting hand. like full time. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question for you. So now that things have changed, you know, you're out of Florida, you're mm -hmm. like LA an LA guy now. I'm an LA guy. You know, you have a lot of goals in life right yeah. you want to be the next Ryan Seacrest if a guy now came up to you like the head of ABC and was like hey you know we have a gig for you you can host this new game show on ABC but all you got to do is you just you just kind of like let me tickle your nuts for a little bit you know mm. just like a little bit just would you do it I mean a doctor has done it to tell me cough like the check <laughs> diseases so yeah for sure that's yeah. fine <laughs> yeah that's absolutely so that fine. specific example yeah I mean what I'm saying is would you sleep your way up no. 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 But like just between us, like off camera, you know, <laughs> like for real. No. 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 So you have morals, right? There's like a. No, I just like don't, a, want, yeah. I don't want to do it. No. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Your own gig. You know though. what's funny? Your own hosting. You, 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 you know what's funny? I, I, I think Rachel told Vita once, uh, like, oh, yeah, J Mario would be Josh's type. I'm like, why would you say that? She's like, well, what would your type be, Josh? My, my fiance. I'm like, a, probably a guy that looks like a girl, that I, so I'd be fooled. And that's me? <laughs> no, 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 no. but she just assumed like Mario's pretty, like that'd be your type. I'm like, that wouldn't be my type. My type of- I'm not your type. You're not my type. Cause, cause you, you're a great looking dude, but it would have, this is going you're nowhere to be honest. Um, but yeah. <laughs> what do you mean this going nowhere? I'm saying like- <laughs> This my, is the gold. Point. This is the gold of the podcast okay, so right now. This is I, it, this is so, it. So Rachel, you know, cause in theory, girls always like to say, well, what would be your type if you were to go the other side? And I always tell Rachel, I go, well, it would be someone that looks like a girl. I'd be fooled. Yeah, so feminine guys, right? No, it'd be a guy that I think is a girl, and I'm like, I would, like they fully, fool me. Full, okay, they fool, so fully, mm -hmm. fully, yeah, yeah. I'd, like femme presenting yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. All right. So, like, just you know, hypothetically, we do this all the time between Jeff and I. <clears throat> who do you think is like more attractive? Uh, this is so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's it. This is uncensored. This is uncensored. <laughs> We have a little competition going on, you know. Riley, Riley, <laughs> Riley, 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 Riley. All right, Riley, Riley Jeff, and myself. Fuck Mary, kill, go. Fuck Mary, kill. What's the last one? Riley. Well, no. Fuck Mary, <laughs> kill. What? Nothing. Fuck Mary, kill. Between oh, the fuck Mary, kill. Yeah. Okay. Well, marry you. You're so efficient. You know everything. Let's go, you know. Let's go. I think. I think so. Uh, you should marry me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think we should get married. Also, get I don't want to kill Riley. You, you get a German fuck, green card. Fuck you Riley. Get a German kill Jeff. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. That's, I think that's the way to go. He's, he's lived yeah. the longest, right? That's the joke? He's, he's lived, lived the longest? longest? He's lived the longest life. 
No, Jeff has lived. He's fifty nine years old. I know. He's like, yeah, he's yeah, had a long exactly. life. So yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff is like you know. Yeah. So you see, I'll the be world. dead soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he picked the right one. Oh my god! But you are gonna get married. You're gonna be I married am. to a female. I am. I am. And you guys are so amazing together. Yeah, I love you. It's I awesome. It's 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 cool. A little sad sometimes, <laughs> you know, to see all the happiness and shit. How 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 is that? Like thinking that you're gonna be married, man. I mean, it's, it's just really almost like a, a formality at this point. I feel yeah. married now. We've been together for five and a half years. We live together. And I think marriage at this point, it's like, I mean, we said this too. Like you get married to have kids and build a family. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like, yeah. I'm going to be like dad so you, life soon. Dad life? Yeah. Dad life. Dad life. You don't have a dad bod though. No. Are you going to get a dad bod too? 100%. Yeah. And then I, then I can do your uh, <laughs> yeah, challenges. Yeah, guys, I wanted to make a video called Six Pack versus Dad Bod. Yeah. I've been trying it for decades. <laughs> yeah. I can't find a single like non-fit person. All my friends have like eight packs. They're all models. Mm. It sounds weird, but it's true. Like I, And then, I don't know. It's just weird. I want to find... Guys, if you're a dad <laughs> with a dad bod, hit me up. Let's shoot a social experiment in LA. In LA, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you so ripped, sir? What's your secret? You have like a no body fat. I just run. I'm a big, I big, just, run. just <laughs> run, just run every day. Yeah. Yeah. Get up, go five, six miles every day. That's my, every day. Yeah. Damn. Wow. That's my, what kind of diet do you follow? I don't have the best diet, man. I mean, I eat bagel, egg whites in the morning. <laughs> really? <laughs> Rice bagel. chicken. Yeah. I love this. Like the first thing is this bagel. I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, sweet. I eat sweets at night too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm doing an anti-inflammatory <coughs> diet right now. No grains. Oh really? No sugar. Boring. Nothing. Absolutely boring. Yeah. yeah. Guys, joke. Quick joke. Joke break. <clears throat> what do you call a bagel that can fly? <clears throat> Bay. I don't know. A plain bagel. A what? <laughs> a plain bagel. Oh, plain like bagel. Airplane, like an airplane. <laughs> that was a good. This is a dad joke. Guys, I'm a comedian. A <laughs> I'm a comedian. <laughs> you I'll can be watch a, me live. I'll be at Naples in Miami. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I have a question for Josh. So you're you're a producer for American Idol. Yeah. Okay. So do you have any crazy stories about auditions, or is there any any audition that stands out? Any wacky person or any good person? Anyone you wanna tell us uh, uh tell us something about? Or besides Mario, when you were casting Mario, did you just have to? Did you just look at him and say? Well, you know, there's not like the so American Idol's rebranded where it's owned by ABC and Disney, so they don't have those like shaming moments where like the crazy people get on. Mm. So we can't really cast those like where the judges are gonna be like, That was terrible. So like the funny moments where like Mario gets on, that's yeah. I mean, I cast that and then there's Eurispell. You've heard mm, of Eurispell, yeah, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos. We yeah. we have a friend that's uh, a comedian in Miami that you know, at the yeah. improv that does real oh, well there. Yeah, and yeah. I contacted him and we sort of like put together this uh, character and he did really well. And he, it was weird because he got through the judges. He got a yes to Hollywood. That's it, crazy. It wasn't meant to happen that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I still think I deserve to get a golden ticket on American What Idol was the feedback we, for Mario? Did you get any feedback? Were they they were, love Mario. Every yeah. season since Mario, it's been two seasons since, right? They go, yeah. we, need, we need another Mario. And I go, it doesn't another exist. Mario. Like, you get another Mario. Like, it doesn't exist, I say. Yeah. It does I was going to submit Jeff, but it's, he's 59, and it's like, what's yeah. the cutoff age? Cutoff age 20, 29. 29, yeah. yeah. by 30 years, yeah, man. 30 years. 30 years ago, close, you could have <laughs> 30 years ago, you could have been an American Idol, bro. It would have been so good. It would have been so good. What's the, like, if you win American Idol, though, like, do the people who win American Idol, do they actually, like, like, is the, what's the track record of, like, people actually becoming big stars or, like, making it? Well, I mean, you know, talent shows are oversaturated at this point. There's The Voice, yeah. there's this, there's so many. But Idol has the only track record in the past couple of years where there are people that are translating into, like, having careers. Like, Gabby yeah. Barra did won a CMA. She was on the season a couple of years ago. Um, all the kids from this season had, like, charting EPs. But, like, music in itself is just a different place where yeah. it's kind of... There's, as you know, even as a content creator, it's so oversaturated. It's really hard to cut through to become like that Kelly Clarkson or that yeah. like massive Katy Perry. For sure. Yeah. I think the music landscape is also changing a little bit, right? But it's, it's becoming so country, I feel like. Country is kind of on the, on the rise, right? I also think it's like our demographic that watches the show too. That makes sense. So that, that are voting. You know, it's middle America. That's why the country wins. Yeah. A lot of time country genre because it's like middle America's voting. Because when I was at the audition, so I was in Ojai in California yeah. at the audition, yeah. it was like, 
I mean, I was there in the speed and it was so funny because I'm in, I'm there. Yeah. The only non-singer probably, you yeah. know, and I'm like, all these people are doing vocal warm-ups before and I'm just there like, yeah, you know, just like, cause I cannot sing. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. It, was, it was so funny. All these people like really impressing singers and shit. And I'm just there, but most of them country for sure. Like it was all like, rock me like a hurricane. Yeah. 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 It was like, it was dope. It was dope. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> it's not country. It's so country, man. <laughs> Isn't that country? <laughs> no, but that's a country song. Rock me like a hurricane. It's a hundred percent a country song. Would you say that's country? Bro, Rock me like a hurricane. But you know that song, I right? Think what he's talking about is a country song. It is a country song. Ooh. Are you talking about here I am? No, 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 no. Rock no, me no, no, like no. a hurricane. That's rock. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> rock me like a hurricane. <laughs> hit, hit me like a hurricane. Okay, that's different. That's different. Yeah, yeah, hit me like a hurricane, <laughs> right? Do you know that one? I don't know. That well, one. I I also think like Mario's success in American Idol is he's kind of a unicorn where he's the only person that can walk in, fit with a speedo, and still be likable. Yeah. That yeah. song. Yeah. It's gonna get ages. It's gonna get. If that's not country, what is? A hurricane. He stopped the show. To no, I stopped wrong. the fucking show. <laughs> You were. You're not right. <laughs> Actually, you were right. I sang the song and it's a country song. What are you talking about? You said rock me like a hurricane. Well, that's one yeah. word off. Yeah. Listen, listen, righty. I don't know. I'm, I'm not paying you to right. fucking <laughs> lecture me on my own podcast right now when I'm having an important conversation with Josh Randall, famous boy band oh. member. I'm about to walk out of here right now. <laughs> 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 this is some bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. You said we were going to take some... Uh, <laughs> Well, never mind. You can take some what? <laughs> <laughs> some mushrooms? Did Jeff offer you mushrooms? I thought, again? This, I thought this was the Joe Rogan experience. We were going to take some you. DMT. <laughs> <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, guys, I want to be the next Joe Rogan in a speedo. That's that's yeah. my that's my mission. No, but I think my, my goal in life is I want to do I want to do a Netflix special comedy in a speedo. I think that's what I'm working towards right now. I think it's yeah. possible. I think it's possible. If you manifest it. If I manifest it right <laughs> every single day, I'm just going to be like, Speedo, Netflix, let's do it. Think it. All right, I want to do a segment on the Bro Rogan podcast. Okay. <laughs> so I can know we're talking <laughs> yeah. about bro shit. So actually the first time when I was hanging out with you, mm -hmm. we watched a UFC fight talking about Bro Rogan shit. We so, did. You came over. No, and I watched came over. Yeah, we yeah, watched yeah. Colby Covington or something yes. like that, right? And it was so fun. And he like called Donald Trump. I was like, "Yeah, what's up with America?" Yeah. Like the UFC, like the, this fighter calling the president of the United States at the time blows my mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fight fan, and, and Mario has never seen any fights, but he's like UFC, of course, getting becoming very theatrical and performative. Yeah. And Mario was like. This is hilarious. I love that. I love that. And I'm yeah. so I was so confused by you because like when I came to your house, I still thought you were secretly gay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I still thought you were secretly gay, like yeah. Ryan Seacrest. Um, even though you had a girlfriend, and everything. You know, that was a stupid joke. I'm sorry. That was good. Actually. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Try, try. I think Ryan is secretly. You think? I think Ryan Seacrest might be like. Isn't there rumors that he might be gay? I, I don't get that vibe from him though. No. I mean, yeah, you just get a vibe in person. He's maybe he's just not as attracted to you. I heard he pulls a lot of tail. Yeah. Yeah, I don't a think I think tail? I think he's straight 100. Yeah. percent He pulls up what this tail pulling. A lot of ass, a lot of. But lot tail of is, isn't you know seriously in, in in German tail means schwanz. Schwanz is a schwanz tail. is dick. And schwanz is dick. So yeah. you, you just literally like he pulls a lot of dick. I was like, <laughs> I mean that makes sense. <laughs> I, guess I can see that. Too. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put a lot of dick. Yo, no, I mean, no. let's be honest right now. You know, I'm a sort of straight guy, but I would put out for Ryan Seacrest. Okay. Just for cloud. Yeah. Just for the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. A cloud smash. You That's know a I mean? great reason. There's a couple of people like Ryan, a lot of Ryans, basically, like Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Probably number one. The Rock, for sure, even though that might be you painful. You get destroyed. I, <laughs> 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 who, I mean, who knows? You know, we have these theories, you know. Maybe The Rock is a tiny... I cannot imagine that even. Can you imagine The Rock? It's There's like a little off topic. Just of picture, picture The Rock naked right now, you know, just like The Rock and then like... Just a tiny weenie, you know. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna you get have graphics during this part. <laughs> Pop it up on the screen. Yes, please. Uh, like the <laughs> yes, rock please, is like please. a little. Riley's like, fuck. I gotta do more <laughs> editing work. Like, fucking shit, man. Uh -huh. On that note, let's talk about porn. Yeah. So uh, you also after w when in your career was it after the boy band before the boy band did you also become a porn director? When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> so to give context, if you guys have seen Mario's journey or his short documentary about getting into the porn, I I play 
the director that he sees. Yeah. Uh, Bill Fisher. Bill Fisher. Which Bill was Fisher. which actually inspired by some true events that I've experienced in my life. Oh yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, you know, like I said, I. I I, I dabbled in acting. I've had a <laughs> failed acting career as well. It's just, you know, <laughs> universal across the platform. Just, just anything you Entertainment, just I've done it. Yeah, yeah. So, so in Florida... You also I, failed runner, right? You tried to run. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried to be like, go to the Olympics running. Like, there's a theme in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's failure. I love it. Love it. Almost. Um, so uh, I, I get like an agency in Florida. I'm like late teens, early 20s. And they're like, we got this audition for you. I've never even acted before in my life either. Yeah. I go to this audition. It's kind of like presented as like Baywatch, uh-huh, uh-huh. like an edgier Baywatch. And I read the lines. I do it. And then my agent calls it. Hey, you got the role, a lead okay. role. And I'm like, acting so easy. <laughs> like, I just book a role in a show and it's for Showtime. And uh, I meet a guy on there too. And he think, he's, he's like a legitimate actor. I'm just like starting out. And he's like, yeah, and we all think it's this legit show. It's HBO. We're like, wow, this is crazy. Um, but when we get to the set, um, cause we were, we were introduced that it was going to be like Californication. There are some love scenes it's supposed to be edgier, but when we get to the set. We're like, Oh, this is clearly a soft core porn. Wow. Like a soft. Yeah. So it was not for a show show for HBO. It was no, it was, like, it was. You, oh yeah. H or it was show showtime, not HBO showtime oh, yeah. has like these late night shows. That's like, right. I used to watch those. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it's not like penetration. It's not porn, but it's like. In, you know, like insinuated, and you do yeah. love scenes and stuff like that. So, uh, but I, but, but, did, I, what uh, was the problem? Well, I, I mean, it's not what I signed Jeff's up for. like, <laughs> great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as I got older, I, I wouldn't uh, listen. I did it, it was a summer job, and you I was, did it? Okay. I, lo- I look at it as a summer job. <laughs> it's a summer job, it was a summer it. job. It was like I had some other shitty job working at a grocery store, or I could have made money doing that, and I did that. What, but how, how, how soft porn are we talking like did you have to be fully nude no like, so was it? so we're in whitey tighties the guys yeah the guys are in whitey tighties and then the women would be topless and have a band-aid over their privates wow. but then a the band-aid a, yeah like a like a uh nude colored band-aid and it would always sweat off so they would always be naked okay it, it, it was gnarly it was a weird experience nice. i was young i wasn't as you know as you get older you get more open and your sexuality you don't really care anymore yeah, and, yeah. but this was like you are from Florida. You grew up in Florida. Florida. It's different, right? I'm it, European. Like, this I've seen this so was much edgy nudity. for me. This was crazy. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember it was just. How old were you? 19 or 20. 19, okay, yeah. And um, yeah, I did I did the show. And, and then it, it aired at like 11.30 midnight mm, all the time on Showtime. Nice. And no one really <laughs> saw it, but my uncle would watch it. For sure. For and he sure, would, yeah. so to this day, he teases me. He's like, so when's your next Showtime show coming out? <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's a true story. So, so oh, Bill dude. Fisher and your thing was inspired by the director I had in that show. Nice, yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. What you do? Because here's the thing: I've seen, have you seen Euphoria? Yeah. Because I think it's a theme right now. Like shows go a lot more like into the nudity theme. Oh yeah, now it's super edgy. But back then, like this is ten years ago. Like this was like it was a little taboo. Yeah. You know, it felt real. Like it. It was also like low quality. Like it wasn't like great shooting. And yeah, like, yeah. You 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 had the sense of this is this is. Would you show your dick on Euphoria if somebody came up? Your agent was like, "Hey, Josh, we got a job for you." <laughs> that would You're, be my luck. That's what a failed actor would be like. <laughs> your dick number twenty. Nothing's in coming Euphoria. in, but there's a guy taking a deuce and his dick's out. And <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> coincidentally, they liked your headshot. <laughs> 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 so off my headshot, you yeah. want to see my dick? Yeah. Um, but no, I wouldn't do that. No. No, because you know how it pays. Like it's just a day player role. It's not worth it. The day rate. Yeah. But what if you if you really your dick is really shining and you're like on Euphoria? Just, like how's acting work? Can you just put it on your IMDb? Be like I was on Euphoria, you know? Because you were on Euphoria. You were like it's gonna be like IMDb Josh Randall dick number twenty five <laughs> <laughs> on Euphoria, flaccid um, dick fifteen. They're I, showing dicks on Euphoria. Oh yes, lots okay. of dicks. Okay. You should watch it <laughs> yeah. for that reason. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> Let's binge watch the whole season. Yeah. There's lots of dicks on Euphoria. There's lots of dicks. That show is that show goes I mean, my, in. my agent, my modeling agent, yeah. whatever manager for everything, he also represents actors mainly. Yeah. And he's got one actor on the sh- um, also who was on a another. I think it was a Prime Amazon Prime show. My girlfriend watched it, and his dicks out too. And I don't know. It's weird because I didn't anticipate seeing his dick, but it's it's out there, bro. It's good. It's really good. I can never see the same way. You always know how to bring it back to a (laughs) penis joke, man. (laughs) It's not a joke. You're like, so how's your journey as an actor? My friend who's an actor's. (laughs) 
<laughs> Always it's full circle with Mario. It's a problem. <laughs> I don't like, it's like, fuck, man. It's like, it always comes back to this and it's, it's a problem I'm working on right now with my therapist, <laughs> actually. Josh, would you do it in a legit role? Like yeah, you- yeah, yeah, for sure. Not, well, it's not like le- le- Euphoria is a legit role, but I wouldn't be like penis number two. Yeah, yeah. That's not like a dream but role. But like if you had to show you, you know, if you'd be naked for, you know, just you have a leading role and you just happen to be nude. Cause oh, that's like, fine, yeah. Yeah, I Let's mean, so it. many some people have done it. Like, so many dicks. Captain America's dick was also all over the internet. Right? You, you know, I took an acting <laughs> class a long time ago. This is something I feel like you'd be like this guy. Um, and, and one of the, the, the exercises was called private moment, meaning everybody had to present I, something you would do in private that, that would make yeah. you nervous. So everyone's, of course, kind of being naked. I think I was naked, took my clothes off. like, And people are watching you, so it's nerve-wracking. This guy's fearless, just like you. Now I want to ask you if you would do what this guy did. He... <laughs> was getting ready like he's going out he's making his little scene and he shaved his balls in front of the class wow and the teacher was like i have to make some sort of parameters of what you can't do would you do that would you shave all your am, pubes in front am of i people? getting paid no you're in class no things i don't i don't incl- it would not be my choice right i wouldn't go for it but you know what i wouldn't mind it either i got i got nothing to hide i got nice balls right riley right riley well, after the screw talk. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, yeah. Yeah, no, they're pretty solid. They're solid? Pretty solid, yeah. So the thing is, I, I've done acting in New York, and there's some crazy shit happening, too. Like, we did, like, an animal ritual. So, which is, like, you have your... It's, like, a public persona. is basically your animal that you tap into that gives you confidence. Okay. And you're basically... You start in a... This is getting very acting, method acty. <laughs> but you start in a place that's called the place of defeat, where you're, like, your need is not fulfilled. You're basically at your lowest. And then you take the animal to come up again. And there was this dude who had, like, this animal, and it was, like, a wolf or something. And he was also getting naked, eating a raw chicken on stage, and roaring at us as he was eating a chicken naked. I was, like... This is art, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna be a star. No, it's crazy. The acting shit is like, yeah. Yeah. I, when I first got here, I mean, I started taking acting classes, and I was like, I don't think I like it as much as everyone else who's taking acting classes. And I feel like acting in New York is just different. It's more theater and stuff. Yeah. Here, it's like a lot of. I feel like so much name dropping too. It's so yeah. much more based on that. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff also was one was gonna be. An, he was an actor. You you were with Hannah Montana or something, right? Yes. Twenty years yeah. ago, you tried to be an actor. Hannah Montana's love interest. Re- is this serious? Yeah, Miley Cyrus. You you were in it. We. Upset. <laughs> By the way, you know. <laughs> wait, wait, one wait, of my wait, claims wait. to you fame. Don't, you don't say that and then just like go. Oh, by the way, <laughs> let's bleep that out. <laughs> But really, one of my claims to fame, American Idol winner Carrie Underwood. Mm. We did knock boots a little bit. Should I say knock boots? We you can't say we. Yeah. That, really, we had a summer fling. I did a couple of what videos was with her. Do we have to keep doing dates around here? I gotta. Yeah, I gotta we, we need timelines. Time. We need timelines. <laughs> Riley, we're gonna get graphics like on this too. <laughs> In 1984, <laughs> I met. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. To me, it was when 10 I was days ago. Was 10 years, years old. You know? Right after the burning wall came down. But I just thought down. that would be of interest to you because she was American Idol. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she was on um, American Idol 24 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> How did you no was born? <laughs> I have no idea. I was born in 94 in Germany. So. Well, well, let's go. We're just like glazing over some like hot No, I love, I love that. I love Jeff Dustin. He's like, you know. <laughs> I just had to. Yeah, I know. You know, I, 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 I banged Ryan Seacrest. And then he just goes like, by the way, what's your workout routine? I'm like, bro, you can. You can. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really do the acting thing anymore. I wish I had balls like you guys and I would do stand up. I was talking to Riley about this the other day. Just give it one shot just to get embarrassed. I love how he challenges himself all the time he challenges yeah. me too are you still doing stand-up yeah i mean it's it's something i i, I think i did a show a couple weeks ago like i do musical comedy so it always makes it it's so inconvenient because i bring the keyboard yeah um but i still love it i like to perform it's like an outlet but i wouldn't say i'm like a comic it's something i do and it's fun because yeah. the acting classes were so dope to like challenge yourself i mean they would have me do stupid shit like do strip tease dances in front of the middle of the class we should do we should do like an What's act <laughs> Which what? is like, all right. What's I up with so? all these acting classes going super <laughs> sexual? I'm like, I don't get it. You know, it's like everybody's like, oh yeah, I got like fully naked, and this guy ate a why chicken. We, why, why, why don't I'm we like, do a, a, an acting um, uh, scenario right now like where we we play each other right now? Like we, we play sw- each we, other. We, we all switch roles. All right, cool. I'll be I'll be I'll be Jeff, I guess. Okay, then I have to be you, and then Jeff is me. 
<laughs> I don't know you that well, but okay. Okay. Ready? What's up, y'all? <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting, uh, as you say. <laughs> um, and as you say, is um, I have a new podcast. No, I have, this is my podcast. Um, so I met Jeff, and Jeff, um, <laughs> we, we've been friends, bro jobs together. <laughs> and, um, yes, yes. you know, so I've... Like <laughs> Yeah. I love how people always give me the sickest <laughs> German accent. You know, I don't <laughs> sound like this so <laughs> much. A I thought I heard so. Swedish a little there. bit so. A little bit so. This sounds more Swedish, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a good Swedish yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Riley. God damn it, points the camera at me. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> no, nah, bro, I sound American. Don't you think I sound American? I think you sound American. You just have a, to little come back American. a little bit American. A little bit American. I I, I I said Mario. this before, like I want to like when I meet people and they go like it's the, it's as a German it's the it pisses me off when I meet somebody and I say two words, two simple words <laughs> and they go like where are you from? I'm like bro, I'm just I just said my name. Why do you, you know? I just want to sound more American. I was like Jeff. I'll try Jeff. Jeff acts like um what's Jeff go? What's up, y'all? Have you tried butt plugs? <laughs> Let's good, do some mushroom. <laughs> I don't know that's something that Jeff would do. Let's get nasty, you know? It's like <laughs> <laughs> butt plugs. By the huh? way, butt plugs, yeah. We ordered some chicken. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. No. Jeff, uh, like he refers to chicken as a pussy as bird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Jeff, do you know That's Jeff's true. diet? Do you know about this? What's Jeff's diet? The homie eats only... <laughs> <laughs> I sound so ghetto right now. <laughs> Yo, my homeboy only eats beef, but straight up, like... Steaks, ribeye for breakfast. Yeah, that's, that's a good right. one. Yeah, that's a good one. Like carnivore diet. Yeah, can't you tell? Are you looking at me? What's <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> Sexual tension is like <laughs> it's <laughs> crazy right now. I don't know what to do with myself. You you should have had Josh live for behind the scenes and bro job because he had me rolling. I was like, this guy's this guy's talented. When I was hearing yeah. the improv. Yeah. I got some good zingers behind you got the some good zingers. Oh, yeah, and also getting back to the porn thing, we kind of like went over that thing, right? Okay. So you were, what people didn't get on the porn documentary is that everything was real Except up the until end. the yeah. moment where I met yeah. you. Because the thing is that, guys, I made this porn documentary where I tried to become a porn star, and I actually reached out to agencies. I found agencies. I was quite popular. My name was Luigi Thunder. That was my porn actor name. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, I had gigs lined up. I had gigs lined up in San Diego. They said... We have uh, three scenes, right, for you. One is a f solo jerk-off scene. One is a, 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 a threesome scene, guy and a girl. And one is a gay for pay bottoming scene. Oh, good for you. Do you know the prices they were pulling? What was the prices? Out? Have a guess. What do you think? How much, how, much, how much do you think people would pay for like a, a bottoming scene, gay for pay? 500 Exactly five hundred. Really? Exactly really? five hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. He's like that was a very that was a surprisingly <laughs> precise <laughs> answer. How, have, have Not he, that I would know. I just I know that close. I know that your girlfriend's family's from San Diego. You're in San Diego <laughs> quite a bit. You know. Is there anything you want to tell us, Josh? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not, not like, like it sounds <laughs> like. Let me guess off the the jerk off one. Yeah. 300? Yeah. Is <laughs> it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was the other one? The threesome? I think it's 400. Oh, it's in the middle. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, are, you have potential for porn direct. You can lowball people like that. I can lowball. But bro, get, get this. Like with OnlyFans and everything, $500 to get banged by a dude. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but just like on camera. Did like, you take it? It seems, uh, of course I did. Okay. Of course I did. Naturally <laughs> I did. I'm desperate, you know what I mean? Got to pay for this second, you know, equipment podcast, not paying enough. Guys, subscribe, you know, I get no AdSense on this. Yeah. But then I was like, yo, I I'm not going to do this. Also, I don't want to waste people's time. I really, I, I have nothing against the porn industry. I didn't want to waste somebody's time going on set and not being able to perform. By the way, I'm, I wouldn't be a good porn star. I'm not a super sexual guy. Right. And I think getting it up and stuff and performing on that level, it's a skill and I don't have it. <laughs> to be honest so i was like let's make this a fun thing and i had josh come over and then we just improv the whole thing that was so fun it was I, just, I remember like dying laughing it was so much that way it was one of the most fun <laughs> that was fun i think it's one of the most underrated pieces of content in the, on the internet yeah you gotta watch it if you haven't watched that that is that's a great comedic piece and I it's also so. genius too because he's also it's real what's it's happening. real yeah yeah it, but nobody got it Everybody yeah. watched it. They were like, oh, I can't believe it's all fake. And it's like, no, it's all real except for that part. And I thought people were would get the humor and the exaggeration. It, it's, or it's, people thought even that was real. And maybe they were like, in like 15, 20 years it grows and like a new generation sees it. Like, you got to watch this guy's yeah, porn yeah, yeah. documentary. Because I think it's your fan base thought it was real. 
Yeah, a lot of people didn't think it was real. Well, no, oh, no, not, you didn't get it. No, get, get this. I was actually, no joke, I was trending on Pornhub. My name was trending in oh. search on Pornhub. You know who told me this? Reno Gold, who's a porn star, by the way. Yeah, I met he, him through you, yeah. He went on, yeah, he went on Pornhub and he sat trending searches, Mario Adrian. Wow. I was like, mom, we made it. We I made was it. trending on <laughs> Pornhub. How many it, people can say that about themselves? You. I do. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not yet. No, no, not, no, yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. And, um, but the porn thing, like how much would a guy have to pay you to like more than 500? Like what, what's your price tag? This is just in private or like an actual? No, on camera, on Pornhub, you know, like fully <laughs> visible for the world. Zero. Zero for free. All right, that's good. Just to the exposure. Riley, come in for a second. Riley, show, show the food. Show the food. Ooh. All right, guys, we got we got some food now because we got to eat also. We got yeah. some steak for, for Jeffy, yeah? Yo, the, the woman the woman who, who gave me this food had more of a German accent than you did. Really? More of a she German accent than she I literally did? Went, she literally went, I mean, I don't have a good German accent, but <laughs> she literally was like, thank you, have a good night, goodbye. Or I was like... <laughs> wow. I was like, wow, German. an actual German accent, a real German. I've never met a real German before. I have, like, Con Constantine, right? You've seen him. You've seen oh, him. Oh, that's true. I've, okay, I've met I feel, I don't know. Germans, it, people tell me European accents are sexy. I don't know if that applies to German. Did you get you a know? number? I did. Okay, good. <laughs> good. So, right. I mean, she was with her like, husband. But whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right anything anything just look how sad luigi looks just all by himself right now this is just sad this is just sad <laughs> um so riley just also a question for you between josh me and, and rachel no between josh <laughs> me and jeff fuck mary kill between the three of us <sighs> riley has like decision anxiety he's very bad at making decisions i do i do i do i do and like i'm, I'm a little on the spot because like Josh was like, I'm not going to kill Riley, you know, but I'm kind of leaning towards maybe killing Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Because here's, here's the deal. I mean, I've said this time and time again, Mario. Time and time again. I yeah. would, I would, <laughs> I would marry Jeff. Marry Jeff? I think so. Okay. I think so. He wants to be happy because <laughs> I just think because like because again again check the check the last podcast or, or wherever I said this yeah yeah uh, I just think that Jeff is super chill we could just like live our own lives and like we have a very lax lax marriage you know we Bro. would just be living our own lives gonna, just, gonna, your life is gonna plummet if I, you do that I I could not marry you because you would divorce me. Because you wouldn't be able to, you, I'm not efficient enough. No, you're not. Bro. Like, I could not. I <laughs> I'm could not punctual not. enough. You're not punctual I'm enough. Not, no, no, I'm no, not no, responsive no. But enough. But I think I could, I could, I could, I could, you know, a relationship is all about changing the other person and making is that them what better. A relationship That's what it's is all about, about, right? about. So if you were with me, I would change you and you would be a German version of yourself, fucking trimmed to excellence, achieving your goals like maximum efficiency every single day. You know, Just putting the, out there. There's a quote that, if you get into a relationship with somebody and you fall in love with their potential, what they could be, how you can change them, the real person you're falling in love with is yourself because you're falling in love with your ability to change other people and like bring out the best in other people. But if the person sucks, I have to change them so they, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, um, I feel that. I feel and that. then I would fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. At least we got that going. Because, that. because again, because Je Jeff brings the thunder and, and you're central. And like, I, I would just so. rather, I would rather, I would rather, that, I would rather. Yeah, yeah. And then and Josh and, just a you're failure. You're dead to me, Riley. You're He's dead to me, Riley. Josh, Josh would be happier. Thing. Josh would be happy marrying Rachel. He's, he's welcome. Um, he's said that he's, he's very straight. He just, he doesn't like the banana. So, um, he's welcome. You know, I'm giving yeah. him the uh, the sweet release of Killing death. Him. That's the Thanks. only. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks for the kill. That's the, amazing. The mercy hey, kill. And I love this. You know, at the end of the podcast, we really like took the self esteem of our guest and just like threw it in the trash. <laughs> so I think that's <laughs> what I love. But I love you. you. If there was if there was a third option that wasn't kill, you know, we would have you having a different a different story. <laughs> a third option like drown. You know, like torture. You know, something he'd, like he'd take a blowjob from you probably. And we're back to the dicks. <laughs> right. Thanks yeah. so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video for more episodes every single week. Almost. I love you. And stay uncensored. Anything uh, else you want to say? Oh, it, was I, 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 I supposed to say something? No, I think that was it. That was <laughs> it. It's been such a pleasure having me Thank on, Mario. You. Thank you so much. <laughs>